don't have to travel. Uh, see all these green lines just sort of all over the place. There's like three flash flood warnings that we have. And yes, Savannah is included in that. Uh, much of southeast Georgia. If you're in Statesboro, you're included. If you're in Beaufort, Bluffton, Hilton Head Island, Tybee Island, you're all included in these flash flood warnings and more super soaking rains are possible tonight. Already six to eight inches in many locations. We're now at about six inches in Savannah and with more rain working in tonight, there's definitely the potential you could pick up three, maybe as much as six inches of rain once again. Uh, did you have an update over there? Uh, they haven't brought an update for our warning right now in Buford. I think they're focused on right now. There is a tornado confirmed in Edisto Island um, that's moving on shore, they said. So um, that is just outside of our viewing area. So it looks like for us in Buford, that warning, they haven't said if they're extending it yet, which is probably good news. It looks like it's weakened quite a bit. So about five more minutes on that warning um, moving near Paris Island. Okay. All right, we'll give everyone a quick visual here and we can recap things. And if we get to uh, 945 or right about that time and they say, hey, this is all done for our friends uh, just near Port Royal, uh, then you'll get to see the end of The Bachelorette. So certainly some good news there. Um, a quick scan here of the velocity. Uh, still just a little bit of rotation in my mind. I don't know if that'd be enough, though, to extend this. Uh, they could just put like a severe thunderstorm warning on that. Uh, definitely some areas of rotation here. Uh, this one is very close to the county line here, uh, Beaufort County. And then we head up to the north, so a little bit of rotation there. Uh, still kind of watching that. But remember, these are tracking their way to the northwest. So as long as it uh, gets by this little area here in the next few miles, it'll have a little more real estate before it be any threat there. And I don't think uh, in the Sheldon area this would quite move in your direction. Uh, let's just loop it here, and we'll be able to see uh, pretty quickly uh, the motion of this, it is off uh, to the north and west. So uh, there it is. That's where the uh, rotation is at with that cell. Uh, Edisto Beach, Victoria mentioned they had a confirmed uh, either water spout or water spout that moved on shore as a tornado. And then we have our uh, area near Port Royal, still that tornado warning, less than five minutes to go on that. Uh, so certainly some um, good news there. Uh, we'll watch this area. Hopefully they can start trimming this away because the threat has passed by Edisto Beach, uh, very near the county line area, uh, but it is something we will continue to monitor, and we have about another three to four minutes to do that. Uh, as we take a live look outside once again, you're taking a look at the Woods Memorial Bridge. Uh, at times, uh, the, the wind was going crazy there. This is uh, maybe the calmest it's looked in terms of uh, the water and the wind and the amount of rain there, so that's certainly some good news. And you can see that Maybe a little bit of a lull in the Buford area. Uh, we have Port Royal here. And then that thunderstorm is going to start getting a little bit closer to Jasper County and then maybe Ridgeland down the road. We're hoping that all rotation completely goes away. I uh, don't need any more uh, tornado warnings to interrupt people's uh, viewing entertainment tonight. Uh, low country right now, you get near and inland of Edisto Beach. Uh, that's probably the greatest concern for a tornado on the ground right now. And again, this one's tracking its way a little bit more to the north and west. And uh, we have about uh, three minutes to go here. Uh, any indication that uh, what they may do? They have not said anything about our area locally. Uh, they've been talking about the uh, tornado warning right outside of Beaufort County right now, where we see those two areas of strong rotation. So um, I guess that's good news right now, though. They may, they are more than likely going to let this expire. It looks like the rotation for us in Beaufort has weakened quite a bit. Um, so hopefully in the next few minutes, they do let that expire. Nothing in the chat right now um, to give us an update on our warning. Okay, um, and Victoria mentioned earlier, we have lots of reports of flooding in uh, Bluffton and also some trees down in that area. They've been hit pretty hard uh, so far during the impacts of Tropical Storm Debbie. We're going to continue to see these the entire uh, night with these uh, pockets of just torrential rain that move through our area and also the potential of quick spin up tornadoes. We have a tornado watch that goes until 1 a.m. Remember, that means conditions are 
favorable for these quick spin up tornadoes. Uh, huge tornado warning up here to the north of Beaufort County does include a little bit of the county and uh, we'll do one final look here. We're coming up on uh, about two minutes or less left in the tornado warning and as soon as that disappears, uh, we'll be able to send you back to programming. Uh, we just want to confirm here. Uh, again, this one is tracking its way sort of off uh, in this direction. Uh, we're thinking right now that probably we'll be staying outside of uh, Beaufort County. Uh, just a little bit left over here of a uh, little more broad rotation than we had earlier. So that is uh, definitely at least a little bit of good news. On your radar uh, that you're looking at there separately over there, mm -hmm. how, are, um, how are some of these circulations at the moment? Uh, for us here locally, it looks like our, it's weakened quite a bit. I can't really pick it out as much. It's not as defined um, as you had just, it looks like just west of Shell Point. And then um, for the other areas right outside of Beaufort, it looks like it kind of stays outside of the Beaufort right. County, that main uh, rotation. But uh, for the one that just passed Port Royal, looks like it's weakened quite a bit. I wouldn't um, they should cancel or expire the warning. Okay, so we'll know here in about one minute. Mm -hmm. Hopefully those red lines go away there. <laughs> and again, since this one is outside of Beaufort County, that threat right now, and it's moving a little bit more to a northwesterly direction. They just indicated that they will expire it in the next minute. Okay, so. all right, mm -hmm. so perfect. Uh, this will be going away. And then um, we'll hopefully get you to the end of the, sh the show. And then we'll have a live uh, update coming up at 10 p.m. Um, so we'll continue to monitor these. If we think there's a threat that these go into Beaufort County, uh, definitely we'll hop on and let you know. But you can see these are moving uh, inland now. And this part of Beaufort County is uh, definitely in the clear. So we'll watch for an update on those. We'll get you to the radar one more time. We have about uh, 15 seconds left and then we can head you uh, straight back to uh, the Bachelorette. Just remember, we do have flash flood warnings for almost the entire area tonight. Uh, we're going to continue to watch these thunderstorms roll in off from the Atlantic, uh, a little bit of spin with those. Uh, so we'll have to continue to closely monitor those. If we get additional tornado warnings, uh, we'll definitely be the first to let you know. Uh, right now, though, this one is outside of Beaufort County, the rotation, so we think this will get trimmed back uh, here very soon because uh, that area, at least with these cells, does not have a threat. We'll have to watch the ones a little bit farther inland. Uh, that warning has just been allowed to expire, so we are going to toss it back to programming. If there's any new warnings or we need to uh, update you on this one, certainly we will be hopping back in. I'm WJCL 22 meteorologist Jeremy Nelson.